Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth. And in this video, I am going to show you how to do an incredibly easy wyvern trap that doesn't take much effort at all, and it works every single time. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to set it up, what you need to do, and then exactly how to do it. But it's a pretty simple trap. All you're going to need access to is some pillars. That's it. With the new creature AI, essentially what happens is anything with gates and stuff like that, they tend to try and avoid them. But with pillars, as long as you give them an opportunity to get in slash out and make them think that that's the case, um, you can basically make a trap that is perfect every single time. Now, you don't even need these on the side right here, so you can even pick these up on the side. Oops, he's, I just, you know, made a mistake. But, you know, oh well, could be worse. Um, as long as you have these that go up and down. Basically, you need to make a total of, uh, just so you can see, one, two, three, four, and five tall. And then once you make it five tall, uh, you're essentially at that point making it so that you have the ability to trap a wyvern because they fly up instead of down. And uh, you put two on the entrance side, and I'll show you what that looks like, and I'll show you how to build it in just a second here. Um, but that's it. You don't need metal either. You can use stone, That's that's just fine and then you have to find a creature that you can fly with. So I'll go ahead and show you how to build it, all that stuff, but I'm gonna show you how it works first, just so you can see what I'm talking about. You have to draw, I don't care if it's a male or a female right now, but for those of you that are trying to get wyvern milk, you do need to draw a female wyvern's attention. If you do not draw a female wyvern's attention, it will not work for you, because you will not end up getting the kind of milk that you want. Joke, insert joke there, lol, nobody? Okay, cool, it's all right, it's all right. I'll just, you know, hang out on my own. Um, so what you want to do is you want to set up a trap. doesn't matter where, as long as the trap is pretty close to where you're going to try and shoot one of these things. I'm going to shoot one. Oh, wow. It didn't even work for me. Might be able to get attention just by existing. Really? No, we're not going to do this. All right, there we go. So as long as you get its attention, it's going to fly for you. Immediately go full speed. You'll see it's right behind me. We go as low as we can to the ground. You pull it into the trap just like this. And wyverns don't like flying downhill. So what happens is they get stuck, like you see here, and then you just knock it out. Now I have two pillars set. One is the distance that a fire wyvern can shoot, and then three pillars back is the distance that a lightning wyvern can shoot. So that way you know exactly what to do. And then you go ahead and knock it out with whatever knockout tools you have. Crossbow is just fine, but uh, obviously long neck with trank darts is the best. So yeah, pretty useful. So the next thing that a lot of people don't realize is you hop in the inventory, take the milk out. But one of the secrets is if you use a hatchet, a hatchet will actually increase the torpidity of a wyvern while you're killing it, allowing you to get the maximum amount of XP as well. So using a hatchet and you get a melee kill on a wyvern, which is worth an incredible amount of experience. Um, and then you can also do what I just did, take the milk out and you're good to go. Now you can do this little farm strategy all freaking day. That's the really cool thing about it. Um, you just have to stay low to the ground and that's kind of like the secret. But anyways, I'll do one more wyvern. I'm just gonna spawn one in so you can see what I'm talking about. Let it freak out. Now this is what happens if it gets really close to you. So you essentially, if you miss the trap, which isn't a big deal by the way, um, but you wanna make sure you hear it kind of breathing its fire, stay low to the ground. And again, it just sticks, gets stuck in there just like that. So notice how it can't hit me with that fire at this range, even though the actual appearance glitch is there. Um, it just sits there like, and that Lymantria is nice and safe right there. Now I would recommend a Lymantria to uh, aggro it, but you know, it's up to you what you do. So as you can see, that's how the trap works. You just stay low to the ground and then actually get the fire wyvern stuck in there, get your hatchet out, pull the milk off of it, and then melee it to death for that extra experience. It's actually one of the best ways to level on Scorched Earth too, because that experience you get from killing wyverns is really, really, really high. So anyways, how do you build this trap, right? Like you can see it right there and it's pretty simple. So we're gonna start with the front side and then I'll move to the back. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a decent like hill or flat land. You don't wanna put it on the side of a hill because the side of a hill can cause problems for you. So flat land works just fine. I'm gonna go like right here to build this next one. You go ahead and take one pillar down, push it all the way up. Then go two, three, four, and five. That's it. Now, if you can use something to get up a little bit higher, what you wanna do now is you wanna actually use your commands to place your pillars one, two, oops, not that one, three, and pick up that meadow pillar. And you only need to go three across. Now we're gonna go ahead and go down, one, two, three, four, and five. And that's the front of it, okay? 
Now that's great and all, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run one, two, three. It's not going to let us go any further. That's cool. Cool game. That's what I wanted anyways. Um, but it doesn't matter too much as long as you go up the sides. So three, and then we're going to go ahead and go down with it. Three, four, and five. Go ahead and go one, two, three. And you can, again, pick all this up, but we're showing you the quick version. So you create a box essentially just like I did right here. And with this box, uh, it doesn't matter if they're vertical or horizontal. We're going to go a total of five back, just like you can see over here. One, two, three, four, five. We have a total of four right here. So if I was to place these down, there's one, two, three, and four. So you're going to go ahead and go one more back. And then we'll place pillars that go down. And then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make a cage. Now, again, just like I did on the one side, you can do this with stone, by the way. This is not required to have metal, but you can trap alpha wyverns in this one using the metal, whereas stone will get eaten by the alpha wyvern. So just be aware of that. So that is how you build the sides. And then the back is the exact same. We're just going to run that pillar across and like so. That's it. Now, some people have really fancy traps, and I don't think those there's anything necessarily wrong with those. I like my traps to be nice and simple like this. So it's hard to mess up. You build it the exact same every time. And there's nothing special other than flying in and getting off your tame. Now, it's also a larger bit of a forgiveness zone, which is why I like traps like this. And then again, this front side, one, two, one, two. That's it. That's all you have to do, okay? And uh, essentially the reason we have it this way is a wyvern can fit inside of this three zone. They'll go in. Wyverns fly up when they fly and they fly right. So even if they try and escape, they get stuck inside of this cage. And that's all you have to do for the cage itself. Let me go ahead and show you that it works just fine. We're gonna go ahead and spawn in a wyvern, just like this. And come here, buddy. And there he goes. And just like the last one, this one works just fine. Now, I would set up pillars. I would put one right about here for that fire wyvern and then the electric wyvern. Go about three or four back. And then you can stay safe when they're actually trying to go after you. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Knocked out. Good night. All right. So once it's uh, knocked out, take out your hatchet kill the thing or I mean if it's a female go ahead and uh, pick up that lovely lovely wyvern milk and that's all you have to do in order to do this trap now I, you can build this anywhere you want on the entire wyvern scar but it doesn't really get much easier stone you can't do I mean here's my recommendation don't do wood it's going to break too quick do stone if you're doing it early and then just build this exact design and that's all you need just stay low to the ground use your limantria and fly out the back now, the cool thing is if, it, if you miss on the first few tries, use the trap to your advantage, do a big circle and pull it right back in. Don't freak out. People freak out and like fly off. Don't fly off. The trap will protect you. I know it sounds weird, but use the trap to your advantage in order to try and get the things back in the trap. And that's it. That's all you got to do in order to have a really successful um, back on wyverns, especially on Scorched Earth with the new AI. It makes it a little bit more difficult. Now, if you're doing a alpha fire wyvern, sometimes they can get stuck in the actual thing because they're technically just a wee bit larger than normal wyverns. So you might want to go like one taller and then that, that should be just fine. Um, but you need to make it exactly three wide and then have a three tall zone or a little bit less than three tall zone, which is why this pillar strategy works um, in order for them to get stuck inside of the actual trap. So hopefully this video helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.